Hey, I'm Lloyd Halile working with Marcio Galli in Mozilla Labs, and this short cast we put together will give you an overview of the Chromeless project. Chromeless is an experiment which aims, at, aims to make it easier to tinker with new ideas around web browser user interface. It attempts to include more people in the conversation about what browser software should look like and how it should work. Technically, Chromeless is nothing really all that new. What we've done is taken Zool Runner, the application runtime upon which Firefox and Thunderbird are built, and put a thin abstraction layer on top of it. This layer makes it possible to rapidly build a web browser using web technologies, such as HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Now in Chromeless, a single HTML document defines the user interface of the browser itself. To make it easier to talk about, we've been calling this initial HTML document the browser code. Now, just as normal web content can embed other sites in iframes, this browser code can also, but it has greater privileges to affect and monitor content inside that iframe. This theme of taking existing web concepts and augmenting them just a little bit is the basic idea behind Chromeless. Now, let's take a tour of some of the things you can do. What you're looking at now is a very simple but functional web browser. Here you can see basic HTML which renders a text box where you can type in a URL and an iframe where web content will go. With Chromeless, this is really all the code you need to build a browser. Let's take it a bit further. What if we wanted to let the user toggle full screen mode? Expanding to full screen is obviously something that an average web page cannot do, so we have to pull in a new API. Within Chromeless, the global require function is how you can access new APIs. In this case, we'll require the MISC library. Now, the name MISC is just a placeholder, but it exposes a full screen function that we can use to toggle the mode of the browser, and we'll invoke this function inside a button click handler. With four more lines of code, our browser now has a functional full screen mode. So next, let's try something a bit more playful, combining a couple new ideas. First, as we mentioned before, browser code has increased privileges to monitor web con content running in iframes. An example of this is the experimental DOM load event, which is fired when new content is loaded in an iframe. The other tool we'll use is the DOM shot library, which can get a graphical snapshot of a specific DOM node. The return value of the function is a data URL, which contains embedded ping image data. Now, Marcio combined these two features and a little bit of jQuery to build this demonstration browser. It lets you view thumbnails of open tabs with a fisheye effect. Hopefully that gives you a pretty good understanding of what Chromeless is all about. To learn more, we recommend you pull the code from GitHub and start with the included tutorial. While some of the APIs that I've showed you here might have changed, the basic ideas behind Chromeless surely haven't. If you've got thoughts about Chromeless or would like to contribute, you can join the fray in the usual places on IRC and our mailing list. Thanks for watching.